biodiversity is all plants, animals and microorganisms that you find on the planet. That's an estimated of 13 million species. So as one species of 13 million, we're having the largest impact. But our survival is dependent on the planet's survival. At least one million species are now under threat of extinction. And Australia has a unique number of plants and animals that are found nowhere else in the world. Since Europeans arrived here, we've had 29 mammal species go extinct. Compared to North America, in the same 200 year period, they've only had one mammal species go extinct. Tasmanian devils are the largest marsupial carnivore. And about 20 years ago, we started to notice that there were less and less devils being seen on the east coast of Tasmania. And that's when we discovered that they were being taken out by a cancer called devil facial tumour disease. The Australasian Wildlife Genomics Group specialises in two main areas of genomics. That is looking at conservation genomics and immunogenetics. And what we want to do is take conservation forward in a massive step here in Australia where we can stop being reactive and start being more proactive. It's not easy by any means, but the way I would approach the problem is really about working more collaboratively. Genomics is a complicated field and with more sequencing technology becoming cheaper, we're able to get more and more data, which is fabulous. So we can answer all sorts of evolutionary and biological and conservation questions. The downside of more and more data is you need a bigger and bigger computer to process that data. And the other issue that we have is that because we work on what we call non-model species, we don't actually know how big the data is going to be until we get it. So what do you do in that scenario when you start to run out of compute? What we did was we partnered with Ronan and AWS and what AWS has allowed us to do is expand rapidly in the cloud in real time whilst we're doing our analysis. Rather than trying to make our data fit the compute that we had available, we just make the computer fit the data that we have. And it's given us that flexibility to be able to do our analysis in a more rapid fashion than we've ever had to do before. So an example is when we're running the analysis on the Tasmanian Devil program. On our current computer system, that takes us about 10 days to a week to run all those files. We can now run that in the cloud in six hours. Conservation is not cheap and funding is not limitless. So how do you maximise the very small amount of dollars you have in the most efficient way possible? Ronan and AWS let us do that because we're able to actually look at our budget lines and determine how much money each part of the analysis is going to cost. And we can work with the AWS team so we can maximise our conservation dollars. People often ask me, how do I stay hopeful and, and positive? And I like to think that, you know, it's really important to focus on the solutions. More information is power, and the more information we have, the more informed decision-making we can make into the future.